Hi, John Mitchell here, Mayor of New Bedford, and I'm coming to you today with an important uh, public service uh, announcement. Uh, with me today is Dr. Patricia Andrade, uh, the Chair of the City's Board of Health, and Damone Chaplin, the City's Director of Health. And we're here today to talk about something that's been uh, in the news uh, quite a lot recently, and for good reason, and that's the coronavirus, uh, which is a uh, flu virus that uh, has broken out in China and has spread to other countries. Uh, including the United States. Um, you know, we at city at the city level, uh, as well as the state and federal levels, uh, have to be prepared. And uh, we in New Bedford in particular have been working very hard uh, to, uh, to stay on top of uh, developments and to uh, make sure that everybody uh, will be safe. Um, uh, we, we have a response team in place that is headed up by Damone that is making uh, a number of plans right now. But uh, And this there will be a series of uh, opportunities uh, to provide the public with more information. But what we wanted to talk about today primarily is about prevention, which is probably the most important topic. And there are things that can be done uh, very simply that will allow, uh, uh, allow us to stymie the spread of uh, the virus. And so to talk in a little bit more detail, I want to turn to Dr. Andrade uh, to tell us what we can do. Thank you, Mayor Mitchell. So this outbreak outbreak does present a public health and epidemiologic challenge, predominantly because it's a new virus. The corona is, a, this particular virus is a new virus, and there is no what we call herd immunity, meaning that no one has been immunized. And, and so what is necessary to control the spread of the disease are basic public health um, maneuvers. The basic, basic, most important is hand washing. Um, hand washing with soap and water, hand wa disinfecting with, um, with disinfectants, and an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Those are the basic, most important parts of prevention. So we're asking everyone to be responsible citizens. And so being responsible citizens means that when you're sick, stay home and if you're having the symptoms that are consistent with the coronavirus which are high fever cough and respiratory breathing and shortness of breath call your doctor before you run to the emergency room or um, go to other public places so be a responsible citizen observe the symptoms stay home self-quarantine and if you're really sick, call your doctor and, and seek care. But the basic issues are stay out of close contact areas, stay out of public places if you're really feeling ill, and monitor any symptoms that you might be having. Well, thank you, Dr. Andrade. Uh, so uh, you will continue to hear more information from the city as time goes on. We want to make sure that you're getting accurate information because there's a lot of stuff out there uh, in the media these days about it, not all of which is accurate. Uh, heading up our response team and ensuring that uh, you're getting uh, accurate information is our Director of Public Health, Damone Chaplin, who will tell you a little bit more about where you can get that information. The New Bedford Health Department will uh, continue to update the public with important information about uh, coronavirus on our website at newbedford-ma.gov. Uh, the, the website has links to important facts about COVID-19 as well as links to the CDC and the Department of Public Health. So please continue to check back with us as we continue to update our website and with information for you. Great. Thanks, Damone. Uh, the last thing I'll say is, again, stay tuned. We will continue to put out information that will be useful to you as time goes on about how uh, we can all respond together to uh, this problem if, if it is necessary. Uh, but we've got, to, we've got, bottom line is we've got to be ready. Uh, the last thing I'll leave you with is, uh, as you heard Dr. Andre um, say, there are a lot of simple things that we can be doing. Um, I think the time uh, is to start in on those things is now. We shouldn't be waiting for news reports of uh, people being infected closer to here to, to uh, prompt uh, these changes in our habits. Uh, we should start now. These are simple measures that will go a long way. Uh, until next time, uh, I'm Mayor Mitchell, and, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll be back to you soon. Thank you.